Hello, my name is Dalen Johnson. Most of you have never heard my voice before because I'm the quiet and sneaky one, but <laughs> so here you go. If you don't know, I'm an athlete and I'd love to be talking about football or something in that category, but Mr. Renshaw thought it'd be too cliche. So today I'll be talking about something I care about most in the world and that'll be my friendships. And more specifically, the friendships I have with my two best friends, Drew and Nate. These friendships started when I was in the fourth grade. And I just joined an Arlington Optimist football team called the Vikings. On that team, we had a special bond and I learned to love everybody, but I gained two special friendships with Drew and Nate. Throughout our childhood, kids on that team started leaving and people started branching out. But we remained close through everything and even got to a point where I thought of them as brothers rather than friends. And I kind of think of us, us as a triplets because if one of us hurt, then all of us are hurt if one of us is happy, then all of us are happy. And if I have $30 and they're broke, then I'll have $10 because I'm going to help them out. I could say Drew is um, one of my very first best friends. It started on that team. I was on a new team. I didn't really know anybody. And then we ended up kicking it off. And he invited me to his house to stay the night. And that very first night I spent the night at his house was unforgettable, to say the least. Um, <clears throat> We did everything kids do. We played video games, ate pizza, jumped on a trampoline, had an imaginary war, uh, got wired on Mountain Dew. That had to be the most fun anybody showed me till that point in my life. And we continued this trend of always being together nonstop for nine years now. Uh, we've, been, we've conquered uh, many adversities through our life together, including the passing of his father which is very tough because he was close to the both of us, but we just support each other and just get through it. And I couldn't ask for a better non-biological brother and best friend. When I made the decision to move to Oak Ridge, not many people supported me. They thought it was stupid to leave Lamar and leave all the friends I made, the football team, and just the school in general. Finishing the school year there tainted most of my friendships, but Nate really came in and talked me through it and heard me out on some of the reasons why I wanted to leave. And there's been predicaments where I've had to have his back and he has had to have mine. And it's been great having him. We've hung out all the time and we started hanging out at lunch and now we're together nonstop. When he finally made the decision to apply to Oak Ridge and make this life change with me, I was so happy when we both got in because I wouldn't have to go to this new school alone. and make new friends and do all that. I could just chill with him. Uh, I think of me and him as twins almost. I mean, I'm better looking than him. But, uh, probably the only thing he has on me is height, but we're alike in every other way, and I love him to death. Being a good friend takes a handful of, handful of different qualities. First, you have to be patient to deal with long hours of waiting by the phone because they are sleeping and won't answer till 6 o'clock. Second, you have to be strong physically and mentally to deal with many days worth of abuse because I could always count on a Nate punching the kidneys and Drew hurting my feelings and making me salty all while joking around. Next is being dependable. At the end of the day, people only want something that is stable, which is something you don't have to worry about. So if you want to be a good friend, you always have to answer the phone and call to action. But sometimes your phone is on 3%, so you won't answer because you have to check how many likes you got on Instagram or how many retweets your fire tweet got on Twitter. But yeah, anyways, be reliable. All in all, I've learned so much from all, all the friends in my life. One of the biggest lessons I could carry out is um, no matter how big the problem is, life goes on. You can't get too stuck on the negatives because it's past is the past. You can't change the outcome at all. So you just have to keep a smile on your face and pray for a better future. I've been through tough things in my life and I'm glad I've had best friends like mine by my side to help me keep the mindset that no matter what, the world goes on. You don't get to pick the people in your family, but you do get to pick the friends you have. For me, I think of my best friends as the, as the brothers I got to choose. So cherish your friendships because if you find the right ones like I have, you're in store for some fun adventures. Thank you.